Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the Gospel of Matthew. Today we're looking at Matthew chapter 18, verses 18 through 21. Now in chapter 18, Jesus has been teaching us about life in his church, about life in the community of faith. And in this passage today, we're going to see where Jesus tells us that there is great power in a church that prays. He's talking about praying together as the church and how the power of the kingdom of God is manifest when the church prays. So let's read the passage. Matthew 18, verses 18 through 21. And it reads as this. Now I tell you the truth. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three come together in my name, there am I with them. Jesus is talking to us about the church praying together or agreeing together in prayer. Now notice the passage begins with that verse about whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven, whatever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven. The same phrase was seen a couple of chapters back after the great confession. After Peter made the great confession for the disciples, you are the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus responded how he had built his church on this rock of faith. And then he talked about this matter of binding and loosening. It had to do with the authority of the church operating in the name of Jesus and in faith in Jesus. And now our Lord uses the same phrase again, but this time he ties it with prayer. And he's saying that when we pray together as the church, when we agree together in prayer, things are loosed, things are bound. In other words, the power of heaven is demonstrated on earth through our prayers. To emphasize this, Jesus says, if just a couple of you agree in prayer, you'll see answers. When two or three come together in my name, I'll be there in your midst. Jesus is saying that one of the principles of the church, of the community of faith, is that we pray together. We pray in the name of Jesus. We agree together in prayer. Now, what does that mean? It means we come together, agreeing that we'll pray together, empower together, agreeing in praying in the will of God. Together we discern what God's will is, and thus we pray in His will, knowing that He hears us and that He answers. Notice it says, when you pray in my name, when two or three come together in my name. So these prayers are not just wishes we make or things we desire, but we're, we're praying in the name of Jesus. We're praying as the people of Christ, praying His will according to His plan, by His power, and knowing that as we pray in His name, the power of the kingdom is manifest. You know, there's something wonderful about Christians praying together. That corporate prayer, praying as the church. There's power when we pray individually. Yes, we know that. But also there's even greater power when we pray together as the church. Now there's a mystery here that we cannot fully understand. But there's something about the power of the kingdom of God unleashed when we come together, two or three or more, in the name of Jesus and together agree in prayer. The church needs to pray. We need to pray powerfully. We need to pray as one. We need to pray together. For when we agree together in prayer, the power of the kingdom is unleashed on earth. Jesus has ordained it to be so. Jesus has promised that it will be so. And we as the church need to be a praying church. We need to unite together in heart and in affection, and in love, and in will, and pray in the name of Jesus. And when the church prays together, the power of God will be demonstrated. Jesus says, my church must be a praying church. My people must be a praying people. For when we pray together, agreed in prayer, praying in the name of Jesus, 
the power of the kingdom of God will be demonstrated. Amen and amen. Let us be a church of prayer. Let us be a praying church. You have a great day today, and I'll see you next time for our five-minute Bible study in the Gospel of Matthew.